Hello, welcome back to Call Clutter Fairy, where I help you get clutter free so that you can live stress free. When I'm working with a client, I'm always trying to find the most cost efficient way to create additional storage for them. So if I'm working in a kitchen that doesn't have a lot of space, a basement, a garage, I love using these stainless steel storage shelves. You can find these at Target, at Walmart. You can get them through Amazon. However, I caution you to only buy from Amazon. Sometimes when you're shopping on Amazon, it says it's shipping from and it'll give you the company's name. I haven't had consistent luck with those that I receive from distributions other than Amazon. They're a lower grade steel uh, and they bend. But the ones that you get from Target and from Walmart and from Amazon, these are strong. Um, they hold up to three 150 pounds. Uh, I, I love these. Um, they are very easy to put together. You can adjust them to fit anything that you want. And I like the versatility. So I have been playing with these a lot and I came up with a hack on how to turn one storage unit into three sections. So it would be nine feet long if you buy a 36 inch. Or if you buy two, you can spread that nine feet into something that's five or six feet high. Imagine the storage capacity of that. This is most garages. So if you had that little alcove that's on the side where you have plenty of room to open up your door, you could put one or two of these units and expand the entire wall. Now, one of the reasons I like using this type of unit for shelves is I don't like the idea of just stacking boxes or storage bins because if you want that bottom one it means removing four or five totes on top of it sometimes you're physically not able to do that or you just don't have the time by creating shelves you have the ability to pull out that single tote and like I'm always saying a home for everything and everything in its place by having a single shelf for that box it makes it so easy to put back away. Look at some of the ideas for different ways that you can use this in different areas. Um, I myself use this in my kitchen before I did my coffee bar. So kitchens are a great place. You can use this in living rooms and really dress it up by just putting some wood on top of the shelves or ceramic tiles. Um, you can use these inside closets. They have attachments that you can use so that if you adjust the shelf four feet down from the top, you can have a hanging garment bar and then places for your shoes underneath and still have storage on top for bins. These usually run around 50 bucks. That is much less expensive than buying one of those closet organizers and having it installed. And you can easily take it apart and take it with you if you move or change your mind on the configuration. Catherine from Do It On A Dime has a great idea on using foam core to dress these up. I'll make sure to link that below, but watch me really quick as I put one of these together. Forgive the lighting and hopefully you can see this. Um, again, I just did this video on how to break one unit into three columns, but if you would like a full tutorial on how to take these out of the box and assemble it, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, let's get started with how to make one into three. When you pull this out of the box, it comes with eight rods and those rods are meant to be screwed together to create the five or six foot shelf. What I did was I used the rods alone to create short storage units. Now you could put these side by side if you were looking for a smaller area, but I have been connecting these with the fifth shelf. So I'll show you by pointing to the shelves. Shelf number one I put on the bottom. This is perfect because four of the 56 quart Sterilite bins fit in here. That would give you a huge amount of storage. Shelf number two, I put about 14 inches off of the ground. This allows you to have the Sterilite storage bins underneath it. Here I'm showing one of the little bins I like from Target. And then it gives you plenty of storage above that for whatever you might be storing. Then I put shelf number three in the middle. 
This would allow you to slide something underneath and this is adjustable so you could make it low if you wanted a chair, higher if you wanted a bar stool. I did this one at the very top to show that you could use it in a kitchen. This would be a great area if you had a mixer or you were rolling cookies. And then shelf number four and five I put at the very top. Now if you had a second unit you would go ahead and connect the remaining rods and to the existing rods and continue building up. And again, if you would like me to show you how to build these units, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to do a tutorial on these, but they're super easy. They are ridiculously sturdy and strong. And because these rods come in one inch marks around them, you can really get specific with how you adjust them. But the ideas are limitless and you should really be able to customize this to just about anything that you need. The last thing I want to say about these units is there are a lot of different things that you can do with these types of shelves. So it has a one inch rim that goes around it, which is why if you use foam core and bend it over like Catherine from Do It On A Dime shows, this would be a much prettier solution. But they sell hooks, they're just S hooks, but you notice how this end right here is super skinny and then the other one has the wider loop? That's so when you put them on the side here, it doesn't wiggle. I don't know if you can see that, but if you do two of these right here, you can put baskets on here. You can hang your cutting boards. You can hang your crafting mats. You can hang small baskets that would hold your pens and your paints. And you guys, there are so many different options. And then they sell shelves like this at Daiso. For $1.50, you would have another little shelf that would just sit there and you could put more craft or sewing supplies on there. So Surf Pinterest, they always have so many great ideas on ways to create storage solutions. Um, if you've used a storage shelf like this, please make sure to let me know in the comments below how it worked for you, how you're using it. Um, I'd love to see pictures. You can always email those to me at callclutterfairy at gmail.com. Um, I would love to see what you do. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.